So now we'll look at some questions. So sulfuric acid mobilizes aluminium and magnesium ions from clays in the soil water and into waterways. Explain how sulfuric acid mobilizes aluminium and magnesium ions from clays into the soil water. So the way that I would explain this is that I would say that the hydrogen ions produced when the sulfuric acid ionizes, um, they adhere to the negative surface of clay and they displace the aluminium and magnesium ions that ad adhere to the uh, negative surface of the clay. And that pushes them into the soil water where they can be absorbed by plants. So the sulfuric acid produces hydrogen ions. The hydrogen ions adhere to the negative surface of the clay and they displace the aluminium and magnesium ions from the surface of the clay into the soil water. So here's another question. It says nitrogen dioxide reacts with rainwater to form acid rain containing nitric acid. Write an equation for this reaction. So we've got nitrogen dioxide, and that's reacting with water, and that forms nitric and nitrous acid. So we need to balance this. I think we need two of these, so two nitrogen, two nitrogen, uh, two hydrogen, two hydrogens, one, two, three, four, five oxygens, three, four, five oxygens. So there we go, that's balanced. Second question here says, many plants do not thrive under acid conditions. Identify one effect of acid rain on soil that reduces plant growth. Um, here I could talk about the toxic cations being mobilized by the acid rain. Last part says, acid rain causes iron structures to deteriorate. Write an ionic equation for the reaction of acid rain with iron. So we're going to start with a solid iron. We're going to react that with some hydrogen ions. And we're going to make Fe2+, plus, so ferrous iron. So acid with metal goes to salt plus hydrogen gas. So now I just need to balance it out. So I need two hydrogen ions here, FeS, and there we go. So the solid iron has reacted with the hydrogen ions to produce ferrous ions and hydrogen gas. So I can put in my... Uh, subscript so I can see what's happening there. So today we looked at acid rain, we looked at the effect of acid rain on the environment, both natural and built, and uh, we looked at its negative consequences. That's it for Flipping Science today. See ya.